Hello Geminis! Welcome to your reading guys. If you're new to my channel, I'm Miss Seedy and if you're returning then welcome back my darlings. I'm so excited to spend this time together. Thank you so much. The winner for the free 30 minute live reading with me was Elsa Kassa. So sweetheart, contact me if you guys want to book anything. You can only book readings with me at MissCDTarot.com and you'll find all the links in the description below for everything including my source. You can get all sorts of goodies that I have there too including uh, protection bracelets and charms and all that fun stuff too got incense and all sorts of goodies on there now so make sure you check it out and guys i will be going live on tiktok i'm doing lives there right now so you're more than welcome to follow me it's miss ed one number one miss ed one there so make sure you find me oh what is going on okay you guys already got some beautiful cards coming through we have a victory here for some of you i feel like you're really breaking free Okay, I'm hearing a quote here in my head. One second. I'm going to get your cards and then let me get started. So welcome back everyone. If you're here, if you're just joining us, don't forget I post all every day in the community section, beautiful messages that I find and share. What else? Okay, Gemini's, what's going on, boo-boos? What is happening? I feel like you and your person, this is how they feel about you. Okay, is there separation? Like what's going on? Okay, let me see. I might need more, but we'll start here. Okay, so we had initially, we had the world card. We started out strong, so this is good. So we have this closing of a cycle. Could be after, like, for some of you, okay. The nine of wands is always, like, guarded, holding back, you know, not fully giving in. Someone's got their walls up high. This could be you. This could be them. Now, this is also a moment where they can, like, feel that you're not fully letting them down. You're not, like, you're not letting their guard in, I should say. This person could also be preparing to take this big step forward, right? Because after that, you're you're just carrying these right until the end till you hit to the first one again right because it close at 10 so we're almost there so laying down a lot of burdens there's a lot of stuff that this person may feel like you always hide behind those like tough high walls that you've built right so with the world card of course they want to smash through this they want to like kind of be like hello i'm here for you <laughs> okay for some of you you are closing out this cycle where you are letting those down Ooh, <laughs> are you starting to feel safe? Are you starting to feel comfortable? Again, like overcoming whatever those you know, past situations that have hurt you, um, reasons or resentments or pains, just a lot of weird energy with this th nine of wands for some reason. But I think it's also just because my elbow was on this one. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot of defeat. Some of you guys could be after a period of really difficulty here with that uh, ten of swords next to me is making me think like you're slowly getting back to your feet and I'm talking about that I'll talk about that in a minute so we do have with the world card we are closing out this cycle it's kind of weird so stay with me here because I feel like with the world card some of you are getting ready like this person could be getting ready to come towards you or they couldn't have come towards you because of the restrictions there's been too many restrictions that they haven't been able to express their love here okay we do have the queen of cups which is beautiful a lot of love they see you as someone very caring very loving very compassionate here uh, again fire and Energy, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. This person could also be wounded, like a wounded warrior, um, kind of needing to take some time. They're not ready yet. Like you might be ready to go and they're just like, oh boy, <laughs> I gotta prepare myself for this because you're ready. You've got this cup of love. They see you. How do they feel about you? They love you. They got this beautiful queen of cups for you too. But I feel like for some of you, um, there's something about either like at a different level here, right? Because this is also someone who is still working their way towards you. I mean, they might not be where you are are yet and you're just ready and waiting with this cup some of you may be pregnant or expecting so congratulations we do have communication coming through this is a lot of back and forth communication travel card as well too so some of you may be planning a vacation or some of you may be moving or leaving because of a trip or travel uh eight of wands though is that beautiful back and forth communication like i said so if they're kind of like closing out that cycle and they're starting to come towards you you're having this victory because this person is finally not just hiding back and holding back. They're throwing those eight wands towards you and expressing whatever this is. So that's that consistency. They could be talking about how like if there is travel or separation right now, and I'm only saying that too because we got the three of wands as well. They could be waiting and part of that waiting is causing this heartbreak with the three of swords and the three of wands. That's like this distance is killing me. It's hurting. It's breaking my heart. You know, the sadness or if you are leaving for work or if you are leaving for travel or anything, and if you are kind of relocating, it's causing them 
them a little bit of pain here. Now, this could be, of course, whether you guys have actually left, if there was a separation involved to some extent, be it on your soul journey or just like literally, some of you, of course, have been experiencing this difficulty. Whatever the separation, this distance, you're waiting for that ship to come in. You could be waiting for your person to return to air energy, fire energy. Oh my goodness. Oh, didn't you guys have like one already that was really in your mind here? I feel like you guys are both really overthinking this, both really haunted, both really worried. I feel like that lack of communication, right, is causing this. It makes sense. But I feel like you are breaking free from this. You're being haunted at night. You can't sleep. They're being, you know, they're just kind of feeling like left out in the cold, defeated. There's definitely like a difference. You're not in the same space. You may not be in the same place, but you also are not in the same area here. I feel like the masculine is really going through a very difficult time, a lot of depression. That could be why they also need this love from you. That could also be why they're waiting to come towards you because you give them this nurturing, loving care. And I feel like you know that and then you can't really help them, but you're going to be there for them. Queen of Swords too, using your discernment, using this is your beautiful energy. Like I feel like you're being their strength, whatever this is. They see you as someone who's very confident, someone who's very compassionate and caring you know, you're not going to waste your time and you're not going to give your love for no reason. But I feel like you also know that this person needs it right now. Whatever it is they're going through, there's a lot of wounding, a lot of pain, a lot of heartbreak. Um, this can be yours too, right? So there's sort of like, that's part of it. Like for some of you, you don't know how to help them. You don't know how, how do they feel about you? It could be the other way around. They don't know how to help you. Oh, okay. We have the <laughs> Knight of Cups, the Ace of Cups. And then we have the Ace of Wands, and then we have the Four of Pentacles. So someone is going to be opening up. I feel like for some of you, this is, of course, coming to visit you with that night energy, having that confidence to come down, to let the emotions flow. I feel like this person may be expressing their heartbreak, maybe expressing some things, or for some of you too, coming in to heal that heart and wash away those fears and pains, right? Coming in with that Knight of Cups is bringing that communication that you've been waiting for, that you've been wondering for. Like you were kind of standing your ground. You weren't going to reach out first or you weren't gonna you know put more like you've already done enough you've already given you've you've been there you've done everything you're showing when they answer you answer you're not playing games here I feel like you're very serious and that's why this love is coming towards you with that knight of cups and it is real love a beautiful new cycle a lot of passion the chemistry there is really hot a lot of uh, loving energy again queen of cups here knight of cups there's a lot of mutual feelings like the emotions are definitely there for both of you it's bringing this new cycle I feel like also like like I said with that level thing ironically I think this was just in the Taurus reading too so I don't know but there's someone who's trying to get at your level here to kind of reach towards this now a gray or silver car could be relevant um, coming through here but the ace of cups there's a lot of emotions balancing out this person is finally going to be expressing this because they're standing in the water here too I also with the ace of wands have a new passionate start so this is sparking a lot of conversation this could be very physical conversation too for some of you as well too you're waiting like where's the love like where are they, you know, like they're flirting with me, they're this, or they need me, or they're that, but where is, where are you feeling that emotional heart support, right? Well, they're going to be opening up with the Four of Pentacles. This is someone who's holding on really tightly too. So someone could be having a really hard time letting go of something. And for others of you, this person is opening up their heart chakra. And I feel like part of it too could be an apology because they're hurting here. Whatever this is that happened, whatever the situation was, or they could be apologizing that they can't really give to you right now because they are going through so much but I feel like you already know that like you already know what they're dealing with so you're a little bit more understanding versus uh causing any more grief or or you know just not accepting this I feel like you kind of understand it's just a very difficult time for them but they do have a lot of love for you they are trying to come towards you here as well too they want this new passionate loving beginning with you we'll just get some more clarity here with the oracle cards it's a little bit heavy I feel like there's definitely some kind of sadness or disappointment here for some of you too but uh but I feel like when you find out why you'll kind of understand because I feel like with the queen of swords you're getting you're getting the information separation like I said there's dis Distance. There's a reason why you can't be with them. Someone is definitely either recovering in bed or in bed. This can be depression. This can be anxiety. This can be like a lot of difficulty. Like that. That's 
really coming through. Like there's a lot of pain here. Okay. Um, time apart from your time apart from your partners on the horizon. So there's a reason why you won't be able to see them or they won't be able to see you and it hurts them. Like this is how they feel about you. Like they're, look at, you're the one laying, like if you're the feminine, but look, he's holding his heart. Like it hurts him to leave. It hurts him to go, especially a wounded warrior. If there's something he's got to go do something he's, he's, he's needed elsewhere or she what take it how it resonates to your dynamic guys no judgment i'm just uh using the photos here the imagery but it can also just speak to the masculine feminine energy we do have playfulness okay so allow to recapture romance allow your souls to have fun and shine with that youthful loving energy so having a little bit of fun might be necessary for some of you get outside <laughs> go spend some time in nature because we are getting ready to express our love which is that knight of cups coming through so this person because even all that red here that's a lot of love trying to come in here red also symbolizing the sacral chakra so some Someone could be of course like that passion is kind of firing up a lot of fun energy but it says like go ahead and make the romantic gesture go ahead and have those conversations see where they go express this reconciliation for some of you this could also be a past life connection but someone from your past is returning to your life for some of you you're having this new cycle like this person may have been really struggling and dealing with a lot of stuff that passion was at the bottom let go of control issues. I'm going to take them all for you because I feel like some of you need it. Um, there's a lot happening here. There's a lot going on behind the scenes and I feel like you're not knowing this. There's a lot of passion. Uh, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So allowing this playfulness, like even though that there may be a time apart, you still have to break free from that like sadness. Like the separation is an illusion. Create this opportunity for this beautiful energy, for giving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments you're being present enjoying where you are as opposed to focusing on the past or for fearing about the future that is a lot of fear anxiety stress coming through don't sweat it okay try to just be enjoying the moment because it's worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life there is learning that is needed in this connection in order to have this new cycle in order to have these two new beginnings in passion and love and desire and whatever this may be in your connection because that attracts Attraction. You attract more love in this current moment by enjoying it fully. And uh, you, you, whoa, okay, yeah, you attract more, okay, okay, I guess I said it. But there's a lot of attraction. Stop and smell the roses. Be present. They find you very attractive. You are bringing this towards you. Again, a lot of healing, family stuff or family situations, maybe why you're being separated here. But uh, healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. There's a lot of... Um, deep wounds there. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So putting in that energy, expressing your love, making the effort. Don't just be cold. Don't just shut down. Um, you know, find it out. Have the, it's an uncomfortable conversation is what I'm feeling. But for some of you, like there's just so much that is going on and it could be a forgiveness. It could be like, I'm sorry, I had to go deal with something. I'm sorry. I couldn't be with you because I had my, their personal life may be going through a big chain like I, I don't see the tower but it feels like a tower for some of you okay what else is coming through these are the journey of love messages for you guys what is coming through for my beautiful Gemini's please what are the messages for my Gemini's what can we tell you my Gemini's oh 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 is that it yes okay your first one was Ooh, insecurity, number 35. Would you say yes if they showed up with an offer, a gift, or something special for you? Wanting to come towards you, right? Like they're nervous, they don't know if you would. Number seven, I'm so lost without you, emptiness. There's such a strong love here and this person really is lost without you, sad, down. Um, I think they were this way. Number two, partnership, it's always been you. I'm so sad without you, I need you. Would you say yes? Wow. Number 38, karma, what have we done? What have we weaved with that web here? And otherwise too, like the constriction here, everything hurts with those barbed wires. Like the more that you're apart, it hurts. The more that you're fighting, it hurts, right? Like this is not a fun t entanglement, if you will. And number 28, I need you to tell me what to do. 
dominating. This person may be turning to you, right? With that queen of swords, she's kind of like the boss there telling everybody what to do. And also like needing you to give them that advice, needing you to give that guidance. That could be why with the karma, there's a need for that reconciliation in the sense of closing and healing that cycle with the world card, bringing you that closure, but also allowing a new chapter to start, a new beginning. Let's see what the journey of the soul oracle messages have for you heart chakra flying right out open your heart to love and that's that four of pentacles that i was telling you oh do i take them deep emotions are here okay so there's a lot of emotions but that heart chakra card always makes me think of the four of pentacles opening up this is my prized possession this is my gem oh my god i was thinking of this earlier this is for you guys this is my prized gems you keep them safe and close to your heart opening up you are finally oh my guys gems they're like revealing to you that you're their special thing in their treasure chest oh that's so cute you are so special to them. You know, like when it's your favorite thing, you protect it and you keep it safe and you don't show anybody. And I feel like this person is finally going to start opening up to you, but I feel like it's their heart and it's their heart and their heart is so broken, but it beats for you. I, I guess that's the best way. Wow. Inner child, so much inner child pain here, guys. So much. I feel like this is a past situation for them or family issues deep emotions came out again so yeah there is severe either childhood trauma codependencies major pain um or just this big situation that's happening it's like a family like healing the family they need to heal these dynamics right inner peace was at the bottom when i picked it up so that's just there for you guys too focusing on that um okay so i have the neck with throat chakra so you got the heart chakra and the throat chakra expressing this and feeling this allowing your heart to open allowing your uh throat chakra speaking your truth open your heart and speak your truth so really express your love that's really coming through strongly we had codependency so there is definitely a codependency someone is feeling really bound to something that could be why there was this need for this separation there are deep emotions relating to childhood it could be childhood uh, inner child trauma inner child difficulties or just loss like again this person is so lost maybe they've always been dependent on people to help them and to guide them and that's why they need you so much right now but this person or you need to focus on self-love um it's a little clingy i'm not gonna lie there's a little bit of a clinginess here too so you want to make sure that you are you know you're not replacing this for that person. Like this person has to find this on their own too. So pouring that self-love with that pink and blue is about the feminine masculine energies. Family coming through. Could be their family. Could be, of course, children involved here too because she is pregnant. So congratulations for any of you. Uh, I do feel, yeah, we had the queen of pentacles. So some of you could be expecting right now. And that is also bringing and triggering a lot of stuff from your childhood maybe or from the person here. Just heal through it. Have hope. Rainbows always show up at the end of the storm. So whatever this period or disagreement may have been, it's bringing up a lot of deep emotions, but you are cleansing and purging and healing any childhood inner, inner issues or wounds and giving and pouring into that self-love and just freeing yourself into that beautiful love i like it lies could have been part of it there could have been some deception or this person hasn't fully been telling you that like i said with that guarded wall that wall is really high because you're protecting this inner child whether it's you or them and they know that and they want to make you this offer I told you, they might literally show up with flowers. Would you say yes if they just stopped by? Would you be willing to see them? Would you be willing to have this conversation? I guess that's up to you, Geminis. It's not going to be for everyone, guys. This is really, really specific, but there is a lot of healing that is necessary. And we are going into that Sagittarius energy. We're going into like that Taurus season, which is really pushing us forward, getting that momentum to move into this. So working through with codependencies, if there are any issues, if anyone needs assistance or help, if if you were going through a really tough time, that's why you could be having so much anxiety or depression, please find your local helplines. You know, even if you guys have them and you know them, comment them below just in case another viewer may be from your country or space. I want to start doing that too, to be very positive for people to just push you to reach out. It's okay not to be okay all the time. And uh, there's a lot of stuff that's going on and we're all struggling and there could have been a lot of deception and situations, not necessarily in this situation, but in other relationships 
relationships that have breached and broken your trust, but you are learning here. It's all about learning, okay? Learning and forgiving, and uh, everything is going to be worth the wait here. I feel like when you have this conversation with the throat chakra and the heart chakra, again, opening this up, expressing your love and telling your person how you truly feel, you are going to have this new start, this new love that you've, you're both probably waiting for, or you both really, really need. I love it, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for joining me. Please do check out the other videos. Focus on the titles so they can give you more clarity in your current situations. As always, stay safe. God bless. Love and light. And we'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye.